Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we just took down, what, the Lord Wolf or something like that. Let's get back into it. What do you notice now? It smells like blood. This is... All these Zoogles, they're dead. What happened here? They didn't do this to each other. So then how... Did all of this? Shit. Who was that guy? Do you think he could have been the lord we're looking for? Gannabelt? I doubt a lord would deign to roam around a place like this alone. Besides, what business would a Renan have with killing Zoogles? Now that I look at it, it was a good call staying out of his way, I think. Look at this. He took them out with a single slice. This guy's no amateur. <laughs> you okay? Uh, oh, um, yeah. We should get going. Zephyr needs us. That knight back there sure wasn't messing around. If he's not a lord, what is he? I have no idea. I've never seen anybody like him. Well, he definitely doesn't seem to be a... Listening radiance, Cislodia. There it is, Cisloden. What's with those Cisloden. beams of light? They don't strike me as your everyday street lights. They're kind of the key to this whole realm. You'll see what I mean when we get there. <sighs> What's on your mind? First, Rinwell appears out of nowhere, right after we beat Balsef. Then, we bump into Zephyr's son, who's with the enemy. Somehow, we get away scot-free because the Snake Eyes don't even bother chasing after us. Is it really a coincidence? You think it was a trap? W what But I would never... If not for the whole Astral Arts episode, I'd be worried. But no, she's not behind this. Perhaps an unwitting pawn in someone else's plan. <sighs> what? All this to capture Zephyr? Maybe. All I know is it all slots together a little too nicely for my liking. Not that dwelling on it'll get us anywhere. Trap or otherwise, we've got a lord to defeat. So how do we get inside? What? Well, we can't just march into the Viper's nest through the front door, surely. There's a secret passage near a spring on the outskirts of the city. We can get in through there. I hate camping out. Huh? As if this place wasn't cold enough, it's also pitch black. I'm amazed anyone can live in this realm. Seriously? Having all this snow everywhere makes it harder to walk or get anything done. And not having any light to see by makes the uneven terrain even more difficult. Calagli is no walk in the park either. It's dusty and there's rocks everywhere. And it's on fire all over the place. Yeah, you're right. 
Now that you mention it, all those fires are a pretty weird phenomenon. They were always so annoying to navigate around. Out here, fire is as important as water to our survival. So are the trees we use for firewood. Is it that rare to see the sun here? Not just rare. Until I went to Calaglia, I'd never seen sunlight before. I'd only heard about it. I couldn't believe just how hot and bright it seemed to be. But I guess in most realms, it's just a fact of life. They're used to it. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? The way the sorts of things people take for granted change from one place to another. Grass, yes. The only HP for battle, okay. Someone before sleeping. Let's talk to Ringwell. Well. Mind if we chat a little? Hoodle, let me know if you sense anything. Another day, another gold. saying something's over there. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? What's going on? Why did the weather change all of a sudden? The snow's gone, and it doesn't even feel cold anymore. Just what's going on? What is this place? I see something <laughs> big farther in. Is that a zoogle? No, an owl? <laughs> Hoodle doesn't seem too wary, so it's probably not hostile. Let's go see what's up then. Stay sharp. I don't get it. Why has it suddenly started giving us things? Hey, is that owl beckoning us over? I think it is. It's the owl we rescued before. Then maybe that's what the gifts are all about. It's thanking us for saving its friend. <laughs> This one isn't just bigger than Hoodle, though. Something about it seems almost regal, don't you think? What if it was the king of the owls? Would that make the other one the queen? You think so? Yes, they're clearly a pair. Is this some kind of owl sanctuary? It's such a big place, though. I wonder if those two were living here all alone until we rescued that owl. I thought no other owls existed, but here they are, and a king and queen by the looks of them. You never know what other ones might be out there until we look for them. It's not like you were searching the whole world over yourself, right, Rinwell? That's... well, I mean, yeah. I guess you've got a point. Hey, Hoodle! 
How about we find more of your friends and tell them about this place? It can be a little side mission on our trip, if that's okay. It's fine with me. We'll find as many as we can. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Linwell? It's nothing. Don't mind me. Ready to move on? Birdie bestie. Sketchy but wrong. Don't remember what I was saving up to do with him. Let's do mid area evasion. Prevention. How does he find while gather all forests? And all king and all queen in this forest need to talk to the king to get rewards based on the number of owls you vote. Pretty messed up. I think Hoodle senses an owl around here. I'll take a guess, and it was just him. I hate camping out. Sixty, so I need a hundred more. Banging away. So the guys we saw back in Messia were snake eyes, and your group fighting them is the Silver Swords. Heck, we even have members working within the Snake Eyes gathering intel for us. Sounds like it involves a lot of double crossing. It does. An opponent like this should be easy. Mega Ray! Ray. Mark. Lightning! I'll take you all off! It's over! Ray Mega Ray! Here I come! Lightning! It's over! Get out of the way! I'm not leaving now! Mega Ray! Take this! Down forward! Rising Walker! Well, looky here. 
Okay. Where's the slow in through a secret passage? Which one's the secret passage though? I'm guessing this one. I won't forgive you! Rinwell. What are you doing here? If the snake eyes spot you here, they'll... So you did make it back alive. Man, am I glad to see you safe. Barely. When we all got separated, I thought... They're fine. They all got back in one piece. Well, a Zoogle took a bite out of two of our guys, but what matters is you're safe. So, are you gonna introduce me? Meet Alfin and Shion. I brought them with me from Calaglia. You mean you made it to Calaglia? Wait, this is it? Just the two of them? Where's the rest? Well, it's kind of a long story. It's best if I fill everyone in at once. Your call, Rinwell. But everyone will be dying to know. We better get back as soon as we can. Use this passage whenever you need to go in or out of the city. Stay away from the front gate, whatever you do. How do the Renans not know about this secret route of yours? Cisloden's an old city. It's littered with pathways that people have long forgotten. But keep your voice down. We don't know how long this route will stay hidden. This is Cisladin, capital city of Cislonia. Be careful. You never know where Snake Eyes or their informants are lurking. We are basically walking into a Zuko's den here. Where's the owl that he sensed?
their shots here. On a permit basis. As long as people don't get reported on and sent to work the floodlights, economic activity is allowed here. All this talk about reports and permits. This place really is different from Calaglia. You're saying we should check the owl forest? If you say so. Come on, Menix waiting. We can talk in there. The name's Menix, leader of the Silver Swords. And I wish I could extend my warmest welcome to you all, but... If my eyes don't deceive me, you appear to have a Renan in your midst. If she is your prisoner, that's a rather loose leash you have her on. She's not a prisoner. So why do I get the feeling there's a rat about the house? No offense intended. See, I've grown comfortable with the likely outcome I'll be stabbed in the back. But stabbed in the front? We risked our lives just to get here, sir. If you want to send her away, fine. But you'll lose me, too. I see. Trust is in about as short supply as light around these parts, and mine more than anyone's. But I'll choose to believe you. Forgive my manners. You must be tired after such an arduous journey. But to business. We need your strength. The Snake Eye's grip on the city tightens by the day. Our people are suffocating out there. Hence the scouts I sent to find help. We're at the end of our tether here. That's why we're here, to help. We've got the firepower to do it, too. But first, we've got some urgent business to take care of. Fine suffer. I see. So your leader is in need of rescuing. It's none of your concern. We get that. But... It's coming to our aid that got you into this mess in the first place. You can count on us. Just as long as you help us with our problem afterwards. If he's been arrested by the Snake Eyes, as you say, then there's a good chance he's being interrogated over at their headquarters. Either that, or he's being put to work over at the floodlights. First priority is finding out where he is. If you're planning on tagging along, Rinwell will show you the way. Just make sure to keep a low profile. Remember, it's not just the Snake Eyes. Hostiles lurk among the villagers, too. This leader of yours, he must be quite the inspiration for you to go to such lengths for him. I look forward to meeting him someday. Don't be sorry. Mm -hmm. 
in a pocket of compressed air right in front of her. Forms a surging dive with a water splash. Head into town and see what the fuss is. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our head. known each other for long, Rinwell? No, not really. I haven't been with the Silver Swords for all that long, truth be told. He's a smart guy, but he's also deeply suspicious of other people. I can understand, since that's how you get to survive around here. Really? I could tell he was wary of us at first, but he seemed to warm up to us pretty quickly once we talked to him. Yeah, that's pretty unusual for him. I think that's a sign of how desperate things have become. In my case, it took a long time for him to start trusting me. But then again, I kind of get where he's coming from. You never know who might betray the group, or when the Snake Eyes might be watching. What made you join up with the Silver Swords in the first place? This wasn't your hometown, so... Was it the Snake Eyes who... No. It wasn't them. I just... Actually, we shouldn't stand around talking. People will start to suspect us. Let's keep moving. Alright, with that, we're going to end this episode right here. Um, I'll have more episodes for you later. Thanks for stopping by.